Welcome back to Earn Your Gold Medal. Today's video is the first of a four video series highlighting the relationship between the short drag or the sucker drag, depending on where you're from, and the dunk. I consider this to be the number one or number two technique combination in all the folk style wrestling, so let's get right into it. National champion down by two. Fingers! A late takedown in the first. That's the difference. Rob scoring it with just five seconds in the first. Oh, great technique. In this clip, we have number 16 ranked Peyton Rob versus multiple time All American and returning NCAA champion Austin O'Connor. Austin O'Connor forces the front headlock position, and Peyton Rob utilizes the short drag to score off of it. In most situations, when you see the short drag, you're going to see the same side leg as the short drag. The foot is going to be up. The opposite leg, in most situations, the knee is going to be down. Even if you see both feet up, they're going to hit that same knee before they actually utilize the move. Also, watch how O'Connor's bottom foot windshield wipers across as he hits it. Not only is Austin O'Connor a returning national champion, but this is actually his favorite position to be in. And I'm going to show you how many times throughout the match he forces the front headlock position. This just shows you that even if the person's preferred scoring position is the front headlock, how, how you're still able to hit a short drag on your opponent. This clip is Peyton, Peyton Rob versus Jake Winslow at the 2021 NCAA Championships, where Jake Winslow actually ends up being the NCAA runner-up. So this is a different... Entry point in the last one, the last video, you see Austin O'Connor forcing the front headlock position. In this one, you see the most common way to get into the front headlock is when you take a bad shot or the opponent stuffs you on your shot. Fair enough, take a shot. Jake Winslow goes from chest wrap to front headlock. You see Peyton Rob grab the tricep with his left hand. Same position, same side leg as the short drag arm. The foot is up, opposite side leg is down on the knee, and pay attention to that bottom foot as it wins your wipers across. So he reach around with his right arm, grabs the tricep, and that left arm goes to the opposite lap. And he gets behind, Third. wet in the hand, scores two points. Freshman right here, you made a really good point there. Head up, hips, I mean, it was uh, a very uh, technically sound, long, but technically sound um, execution. Hey, there is two Ooh. points for... In this video, you have a freshman, Peyton Rob versus two top All-American, number four ranked in the country, Caleb Young. So Peyton Rob takes a bad shot. He gets stuffed. Caleb Young goes to the front headlock position. Now this time, you see Peyton Rob ends up getting on both of his feet. Right before he does the move, you can see him hit his knee, utilize the short drag, scores two points, ends up tying the match. In this clip, you have Carson Karchla, a freshman at Ohio State, versus number one ranked Alex Marinelli of Iowa. Stay in. Hand fight. Snap the head. Stay in front. It's Alex Marinelli. It's the better. Going up against Andre Karchla, trying to accomplish a takedown. Less than 30 seconds left to go in the match. Alex Marinelli is up 2-1 to one because he has just over a minute of riding time. He jumps to the front headlock position. I'm sure he's just trying to waste time off the clock. As you can see, Carson Carson is on both feet. Right before he utilizes the move, he drops to that inside knee, reaches around with his left hand from the tricep to the opposite lap, and ends up scoring two points and winning the match. Now, the level of competition I've shown so far isn't suffice. I'm going to show two-time NCAA finalist and, return at this point, return the NCAA champion Shane Griffith. And yeah, he's great from that elbow control and hand touches. There's a takedown. So a common question that I would get asked when showing the short drag is what happens if they don't go to the front headlock? If you end up going back to the Peyton Rob versus Jake Winslow clip, as you can see, most guys actually prefer the front headlock. 
because J- Jake Winslow had a chest wrap and he switched to the front headlock. So most guys will go front headlock, but once they scout you a little bit and they realize that you they realize that you like this move, or maybe they just naturally one of those guys that don't go to the front headlock. What do you do in those type of situations? Well, this clip goes over it. Carson Carson takes a bad shot, and Shane Griffith, besides going front head, besides going front headlock, actually goes to the underhook, as you can see right here. Watch what Carson Carson does. He reaches underneath him with his right hand, peels Shane Griffith's hands off of him, forcing him to get the front headlock and setting up the short drag. He ends up scoring two points off of it. That is a freshman against an NCAA champion. So. Just want to show you guys this move by itself and how dangerous it is. I think one of my favorite things about the short drag is the fact that once I learned it, I once I learned it, I felt a lot more confident taking shots. Because even if I ended up in that front headlock position, I would typically just pull on the tricep to get a stalemate. But the fact that I knew that I could score even off of a shot that wasn't successful just gave me the confidence to shoot more and more and more because I felt like I was going to score regardless. So thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm posting a video about the dump tomorrow. So tune in. Thank you.